Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we're going to do a quick update on my seedlings that I planted late last June. And that would be my Boswellia sacras, my bullhorn acacias, my monkey ear seedlings, and my coral bean seedlings. So let's go have a look at those now. Okay, well we'll start with the bullhorn acacia trees. You can see here that they're they're doing very well. Uh, just about this last month, they've actually uh, started to put on more growth, and the uh, the trunks are starting to harden off a little better now too. You can see they've got some really cool movement in the trunk. I don't think you can see that. It's pretty pretty hard to see. But the trunk's gone from a from a lighter green color to more of a brown. And uh yeah it's starting to harden over, which is good. So they'll uh They'll toughen up a little better. I don't have to worry about them as much. And you can see here that we've got some new growth just starting to come out on the top. Right here. Yeah, it's a pretty tough area to focus in on here. So you can see that anyways, that's our next branch that's going to be coming out at the top. And we got some really young thorns on the seedling also. Everywhere we re had a branch come out off the trunk, we've got a set of thorns coming out. Yeah, those, uh, those thorns will get quite large actually. See the one in the back here. Quite neat. Yeah, these are very interesting trees. And next is the my coral beans. These are doing quite well. This one in particular has really grown. Uh, this one down here hasn't grown a lot, although it is doing quite well still. It's healthy. The trunk is thickening up on this one, which is kind of strange, and not putting out a lot of growth on the top, so we'll see what goes on with that one. But they're all doing quite well. And in behind here we have the monkey ear seedlings. They're all doing well. Um, there's one in the back here I'm going to show you guys. This one in particular, you can see here it's uh, it's already started quite the movement in the trunk. This is just on its own. I haven't done anything to it. So that would be really neat if it uh, maintains that that movement in the trunk. I'm hoping this one doesn't straighten out that we do kind of maintain that movement. That would be really neat. Okay, we'll go look at the Boswellia sacras now. Now if we come over here to my other set of shelves. We'll just move a couple things here. There they are. So these are doing quite well. 
Uh, they have lost a few leaves, so I'm not too sure if they're going dormant or not. We'll see what happens. But they have been doing okay. The other two here, you can see that the the little chunks on them have started to harden up, which is good. This one's a little bit further behind because that's the one that, uh, if you'll remember, it got severed um, off its main trunk. So that's about the top half of the little seedling. And I stuck it back in the soil, I think it was about back in August sometime, early August to mid-August. And it actually, uh, you know, so I put it in there as a cutting and it actually started to root. So when it's growing now, it was about an inch tall when I put it in there. So it's growing at least twice as high as it was when I put it in there. So, yeah, it's doing pretty good. You'll remember that there was one growing in beside this one over here. Um, its leaves started to dry up and the trunk is uh, wrinkled a little wee bit. I'm not too sure why. Okay, so here's the other seedling I was telling you about. The one that was in beside this one back here. So you can see it's not doing so well. I'm not too sure why. The leaves are basically uh, are finishing drying up right now. And the trunk is a little bit wrinkled, which is what worries me. Um, it would be one thing to just maybe to lose the leaves, but the trunk is actually you know, wrinkling, drying up. So, yeah, that kind of worries me. Um, I do have some hope that it will come back. Uh, because, like I said before, this one over here, I mean, it was severed. And I just kind of stuck it back in the soil there, and it, and it took as like a small cutting. And it came back. So I'm just kind of hoping that uh, that this one does the same thing. I was able to get it out from beside the other one there with a few roots on it, on the tap root. So we'll see what happens. Okay, and beside the Boswellia sacris, we have some more monkey ear seedlings. <laughs> yes, I do have a lot of these. I actually really didn't expect all of them to germinate. However, they did, so I got a miniature little forest here going of them. And, uh, yeah, I got some larger weeds growing in here that we're just going to pull out here. Boy, those roots really really spread through the soil there. There we are. This is a, uh, this is a really good close-up of these seedlings here. We're able to get head level with them. You can see the trunks, how they've started to harden off. You can see the new growth on top of them. Yeah, these have grown quite well also. Well, that's it for my seedling update. Over the next few days, we're going to be starting to work on some of my larger trees, as they've put on a fair bit of growth over this last number of months. You guys take care, and we'll see you on the next one.